Hey y'all, welcome back to the kitchen. Welcome to Apron Strings. Have you ever heard the song? Uh, I don't know who used to sing it. Come home, come home, it's supper time. Well, it's almost supper time around here and I'm gonna make a good casserole today. So I just figured I needed somebody in the kitchen with me while I cook. This is a unique casserole and it's good and you can add to or take away to your preference. It's a potato chip casserole. And you take a bag of potato chips and you, well, as I go along, I'll tell you what we're doing. The first thing I'm gonna do is saute some onions in butter until they're clear. And y'all kinda know how to do that. So I'm, I've got my butter melted and I'm gonna put my onions in and uh, then we'll go from there and I'll tell y'all what's going on. Well, I've got the onions going and I'm going to add a little bit of my Zydeco Chop Chop and I've showed y'all that before. It's, uh, it's from a company in Louisiana and all it, it has in everything that I would want, but it's already, uh, it's dehydrated. It's onions, parsley, garlic, uh, celery, bell peppers, everything you put in your Creole cooking. And I'm going to put them in here with the onions where they'll kind of reconstitute refresh whatever words you want to use while the onions are cooking down then right before the onions get completely done I'm going to add a couple of cloves of minced garlic that I've got ready over there so this is one onion and I'm just putting some of this in it you could chop up whatever you want to put in it uh, there's no really set recipe to this except for the basic onion potato chips chicken sour cream and a little bit of cream cheese but you can add mix vegetables if you wanted to and make it more like a chicken pie but today I'm just doing a simple potato chip casserole I've added in my garlic and I'm just gonna stir it around just a little bit till it's fragrant I don't want it to burn I just like garlic and just got anything savory I love garlic My grandpa did too, but he would eat raw garlic. And oh my goodness, you couldn't hardly stand his breath. But he did like his garlic. Ooh, I'm starting to smell it. It smells like I'm in an Italian restaurant. That's yummy smelling. Okay, we need to get back over here and um, get on with the rest of the casserole. What you say? I decided that I would go ahead and add my chicken and heat it up with the onions before I proceed further over there. Uh, this is some chicken thighs, boneless, skinless, that I had cooked with the maton a few uh, day ago. And we had it left over, so I thought, well, I'm going to put it in this casserole. Now, I heat this through, and it calls for a pint of sour cream. And I'm going to put about a half of a brick of cream cheese in mine, which it did not, the original didn't call for, but that's what I'm doing. And I'm going to heat it all in the skillet and then layer it with some more cheese in the uh, casserole dish. So let me get this going. Now I've added some onion powder, and even though I put garlic in there, I'm going to add some garlic powder to it because I like the taste. And I'm going to go ahead and add my a little piece of cream cheese in there and let it melt and get all creamy. Mix it all together. I love sour cream and cream cheese mixed uh, in a casserole like this. That cream cheese just adds a layer of deliciousness to it that nothing else will do. So I'm going to work with this and get it all incorporated into my chicken and onion mixture. Then I'll put the sour cream in and then we'll layer the casserole. Okay, I need to add one pint of sour cream. And just stir that in. Okay, it's all mixed up and incorporated here, 
and I'm going to uh, get it back over to the butcher block and get it in the casserole pan. I'm going to spray my uh, casserole with some uh, ham is what I'm using. I just don't want it to stick. Now what you do is you put, I've got my oven preheated to 350. You're just going to put half of your package of potato chips in the bottom. Just for some bottom crunch here. And then I'm going to put a little bit of a cheese, not a lot, just a light sprinkling. And I'm going to put my chicken mixture. I bet your mouth's watering. If you could smell it, it sure would be. It smells heavenly. And of course, you know I tasted it. It tastes heavenly. Okay, now I'm going to put the rest, I'm going to put another little sprinkle of this cheese. And this is just, uh, well, this is the Mexican Five Blend. Sometimes I use Kobe Jack. This is just what I had open today. Okay, more potato chips on the top. I love casseroles, y'all, and I like ones that's good warmed up because we don't eat a whole casserole. Now, I've got grandkids that'll help eat this one, but uh, just with me and Troy, I don't. Have, a lot of times, what I'll do once I get it cooked, I go ahead and divide it in half and freeze half of it for later because we just don't eat a whole casserole, and you don't want to eat the same thing for a week. Well, that's unless it's hamburgers or barbecue ribs. That might would work. I'm not sure. But I don't want the same casserole for a week. All right, I'm going to get this into a 350 degree oven just till the cheese is melted and everything's bubbly and kind of browned a little bit. And then I'll bring you back and we'll taste of it. Miss June has cooked our casserole. Look at that. Nice and brown. I'm fixing to get it out and bring it over to the butcher block to cool just a little bit. It sure does smell good. Oh, y'all. This looks so pretty and it smells so good. And the potato chips on the top, they're still crispy. I mean, you can hear them, you know, crunch when you... It's just delicious. I'm going to dish some up here in a minute. It's still kind of warm. And, um show y'all the portion and I imagine I'll have to get a bite of it because I like good stuff and this is good stuff. Okay y'all here's a portion dished up. I put some scallion uh, tops on it or green onion tops and I've got it on my one of my plates to a set of dishes that my sweet daughter-in-law got me for Christmas and I really do like them. Of course, anything with a rooster or a hen, I love it. Been loving it for 40 years, so I guess I'm in love with them. Whether they're in my chicken pen or in my kitchen or on my wall, I've always liked them. Okay, just wanted to show y'all. I'm gonna get over here and show you what the inside of it looks out like with this scooped out of it. Now, how yummy is that? Those good crispy potato chips on the top and that gooey, runny chicken filling in the middle and a potato chip crust. Okay, y'all, you got another really good recipe. And I've been telling y'all just about every time lately that Christmas and Thanksgiving or Thanksgiving then Christmas is going to be here before we know it. And I always try to have a list, uh, like if I'm going to cook a meal. I have a list uh, what time that I need to start this and to have it ready on time. 
every year at Thanksgiving, April says, Mama, can I have your list? And she files them somewhere. I guess so if she ever has to be the cook. But start compiling you. Get you a little spiral notebook or something and write down some recipes that you're going to try this year when you have your girlfriend gatherings or secret sister revealing or where you'll have something that nobody else takes and you get to shine for that night. So think Christmas in July. It's more than just presents. It's the food that you put on your table and that you serve your friends when they come to your house. You know, just about everybody has the money or somehow they have a credit card or they manage to get whatever they want. But there's very few people anymore that make good homemade food and homemade gifts. So while we're, you know, thinking goodies like, you know, some of the dips that I've shown y'all and a couple of cakes and, and I've got some more stuff coming up for the rest of the month, but think about your casseroles and your food that you can give. And even, even if somebody is sick, you can put this casserole in one of those foil pans and deliver it to the door and they can just put it in the oven and reheat it or bake it in the oven. A lot of good ideas for gifts besides just at Christmas time, but I'm just calling it Christmas in July because I love Christmas so much that I painted my house red. Red's my favorite color. Of course, you put red and green together and what do you have? Old fashioned Christmas. Okay, y'all keep coming back, and we'll have some more good recipes, but before you leave, I'm going to get a bite of this casserole. Let's just see if it's as good as it sounds crunchy when I... Oh my goodness, look at that. Yeah, y'all need to look at that real close. I've got me some green onion, I got me some chicken, I got me some... Come on, focus, isn't that pretty? If it can be in my mouth, get in my belly. Y'all need to make this when it's wonderful. And how easy. You know, it's sort of like a chicken pie, but you don't have a pie crust. You got a potato chip crust. So there's you some meat and taters for that man that likes meat and taters. The good Lord bless y'all. I sure hope you're writing down recipes and gathering ideas to if you never have done it regularly, to start gathering at the table and having some meals and putting a little bit of security and stability into a very unstable and insecure time that we're living. I have so many people say, do you think things will ever be normal again? I don't know. It doesn't feel normal when you go to town and everybody's got a mask on. I don't know when this will end or where it will end, but you can make your home a haven, a refuge. A place of safety, a fun place, a desirable place. You can have a home so wonderful that your kids won't want to go stay with somebody else. They'd rather be at home and invite their friends to your house because mama makes good food. Y'all need to think about it. And come back for some more Christmas in July. We'll be doing it for the rest of the month. I'll off and on, I'll bring y'all something that I think will go on your sweet bar for your goodies or for a casserole that you can serve Thanksgiving or Christmas or for any time of the year. But I just kind of liked the Christmas in July thing, so that's what we're doing. I'll see y'all in a day or two.